It's early days of Ziggy's pregnancy and she's still keen to keep her baby news between her and Dean. And a very observant Mackenzie, Emily Weir. But this week on Home and Away, her morning sickness begins to hit at all hours of the day, making a day's work at the garage harder than ever. Concerned that she's pushing herself too hard on the tools, Dean, Patrick O'Connor, encourages her to come clean to her boss Justin, James Stewart. She agrees, and has every intention of revealing the good news to Justin until he offers her a well-deserved promotion. Instead of toning down her workload, she excitedly accepts. Ziggy, Sophie Dillman, wants it all, a baby and a successful career. And why shouldn't she? But a protective Dean isn't happy, worried that her never-say-die attitude is putting her health, and the babies, at risk. The discussion is just one of the relatable hurdles that the expecting couple are going through, but Sophie says there is more to come. We see absolutely everything, doubt, fear, joy, from both of them, and conflict because heard conversations have to come into the mix when it comes to parenthood and things like how they'll juggle Jai, River Jarvis, or even how they'll manage with just one car. It's important to show that because it happens in real life. This week on Home and Away, a headstrong Ziggy works at the garage alone, determined to prove to both Dean and Justin that she is more than capable. Frazzled with everything going on in her life, she becomes distracted. As her mind wanders, she accidentally inhales chemical solvent and collapses on the garage floor. She gets dizzy from smelling fumes, but also it stems from exhaustion, Sophie says. She's in denial about her whole life changing. She's adamant that she can do it all. She's a superwoman, absolutely, but unfortunately she can't do it all. As Ziggy lays there unconscious, the fumes are only getting stronger in the workshop. Thankfully, Tane, Ethan Brown, arrives for his car service, and immediately rushes to her aid. Has inhaling the fumes hurt the baby? 